Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to build a gearbox utilizing one of our new motor mounts. It is the 555-128. As you can see here, it's got multiple mounting holes for all kinds of different motors and gear motors. Um, here's a small variety of different motors and gear motors you could use with this mount. As you can see, here's a Castle Creations brushless motor. It works great with this mount. If you want to build an extremely powerful, very, very fast robot platform or device, that'd be a great uh, motor line to choose. You can also utilize various surplus motors you can get for, you know, sometime, someplace under a dollar, um, as long as it's a 540 or 550 size uh, motor. Um, you can see here, it'll also work with our 3 to 12 volt uh, gear motors on, the, uh, on our Servo City site. You can also utilize regular RC car brushed motors, as you can see, like this atomic force motor. And you can also utilize our robot zone precision gear motors, work really well with this motor mount also. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Um, we're going to go ahead and build something. We'll go ahead and use this Castle Creations uh, brushless motor. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take the motor mount, line the shaft up in the middle. Obviously on this mount, we'll be utilizing the two center holes or the holes closest to the center and utilize, utilize our small metric Phillips pan head screws Go ahead and tighten these down. You want to make sure when obviously when you're bolting it up to a motor, a gear motor, that the, that the little threaded tabs are sticking, sticking out and not towards the motor. Now that sounds pretty obvious, but Okay, now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and uh, put together our shaft. Um, you can utilize any length of shaft or D-shafting. We really like to use D-shafting with all of our channel. Works really well. This is the uh, eighth inch to quarter inch shaft coupler. Most of the gear motors and most of the RC car motors are going to have an eighth inch, eighth inch shaft. Um, where a lot of the gear motors are actually going to have a six millimeter bore shaft. So, but anyway, so this is an eighth inch to six, five, or excuse me, eighth inch to quarter inch shaft coupler. I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down. You know, and actually we can go ahead and place it on the motor as well. We're going to slide that. You always want to put the largest in first so it butts up against the, against the smaller section. Tighten this down like so. There we go. Next we're going to do is there's several different ways you can actually mount the motor on in the channel and have a, an opposing ball bearing. So one, one way you can do this is you can actually mount it in like this. Take one of our flange quarter inch ball bearings. Put it in like this. Very simple, simple setup. Um, you can also use one of our, pull this out here. What I'm going to demonstrate is how you can come in the end right here and actually grab one of our quad hub mounts just like this. I'll go ahead and bolt this in. We're not going to tighten these all the way up. Just Barely cinch them up. Just to hold the part in place or to hold the motor in place. Next we're going to go ahead and grab one of our quad hub mounts. We're utilizing on most everything with channel, we're going to utilize 632 by quarter inch socket head cap screws. We can just finger tighten those for right now. We're going to leave those loose until we slide our bearing in. Quarter inch flange ball bearing. Now we can tighten these up. Now we can go in here and tighten up our motor mount. It's just a little, little easier once everything's lined up.
and utilizing a, a, a ball nose Allen driver is much easier. You can find those on our site as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and put the gear on, the pinion gear, and we're going to utilize a small little black spacer, quarter inch. What that allows it to do is it allows it to really run on the race of the ball bearing. Hold that down, tighten that down. You see it runs nice and smooth. This motor has a lot of torque, so it's got a lot of magnetic, magnetic power in it, so or feedback. So next what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our ball bearing quad hub mounts here. This is just one way to build a, a gearbox. There's many different ways to do it and we're going to have other videos online that we'll be able to show. Go ahead and tighten that down. So, set that off to the side. Now we're going to work on our final drive shaft here. We're going to go ahead and use a quarter inch coupler. Tighten that down. Once again, we're going to use one of our little black spacers. Slip a quarter inch flange ball bearing over that. I'm going to come in the back side right here and slide that in, just like so. Next, we're going to use one of our spacers again. And now we're going to utilize oops, one of our, let's see here, we're going to probably run two spacers on this. Quarter inch set screw hub. Place our gear on like this. Line those holes up, just like so. And now what we're going to do actually here, we're going to actually drive this wheel. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of our skate wheel and or robot drive wheels. So we're going to line up, see there, you can line up those holes there. I'm run a little longer screw so it goes all the way through this drive hub, through the gear, and into that quarter inch set screw hub. We're not going to tighten any of these up quite yet. Just get them all aligned. Now we can tighten these up. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and mount our wheel. And it's just a press fit right on. And our cup washer is going to press right in. And last, we're going to put in our, I think it's three quarter inch by quarter 20 bolt. Drive that in. Tighten that up. And there you go. Now this setup, this uh, brushless motor and with a five to one ratio with this wheel, it would be extremely fast robot platform. Probably too fast to actually control. Um, but that just gives you a good demonstration of what you can actually build. It's very easy to build a very precise gearbox utilizing you know, our precision gear motors, RC gear motors, um, and other motors out there as well. And so very, very simple setup. So there you go.